this pain of our people of not knowing who we are or where we're from. There is no easy answer or story to pacify the amount of trauma experienced. What I will say is that we've been had an identity. That identity is in Christ, who came for those in our situation. A lost people, a hurt people, a people with heavy burdens and big shoes to fill. Many are really not sure of this. I'd encourage you that the scriptures will reveal the truth about who we are. There are books that say that Christ was made up by Europeans. When you look into the history, that doesn't line up being the gospel was in Africa almost immediately after Christ rose from death. There is an account with the historical figure Candace of Ethiopia in the book of Acts in the scriptures. Candace's eunuch, or high official, was introduced to the gospel by Philip. The eunuch already had the book of Isaiah with him, meaning that even before Christ, God's word was thriving in Africa. Also, Ethiopia was not the same as you see it on your maps today, rather, that it was nearly half of the continent of Africa. I'd love for us to have a real conversation about this with facts and books, not just name-calling and misinformation. I understand that we want to connect to our past, but let's make sure we connect with truth as well. Much love and the angel of the Lord spake unto Philip, saying, Arise, and go toward the south unto the way that goeth down from Jerusalem unto Gaza, which is desert. And he arose and went, and, behold, a man of Ethiopia, an eunuch of great authority under Candace, queen of the Ethiopians, who had the charge of all her treasure, and had come to Jerusalem for to worship, was returning, and sitting in his chariot read Isaiah the prophet. Then the Spirit said unto Philip, Go near, and join thyself to this chariot. And Philip ran thither to, and heard him read the prophet Isaiah, and said, Understandest thou what thou readest? Acts 8 verses 26 to 30 KJV.